welcome to the Friday night praise and prayer. The Holy Spirit River is going to be going on here. We are so excited about tonight because we are going to just welcome everybody home. This is the home to come and just praise the Lord together. It's yes. such a huge privilege to be able to do this. And we are so excited to do that. I'm going to bring uh, I'm going to uh, bring Kent up here and just uh, to say hi. And I tell you what, there's this is a special night because we are going to be talking about uh, uh, faith. Yeah, there's in this great shaking that I believe is going to be happening. We're going to be talking about how you can have faith versus fear in this time. It's going to be an important time. I know uh, Kent's going to have a message. Rose is going to have a message. We ask that you please put your prayer requests here. Um, thank you, Eileen. I appreciate you too. Um, it'll be so awesome. So this is live right now. Believe it or not, on the Blessed Teach neighborhood as well. We launched a neighborhood. It's now just past a thousand users. And um, we now figured out how to go live there. So we're not only live on Rumble and Facebook and Clout Hub and, uh, and, and uh, all these other places, right? Uh, Twitch. Um, we are also um, live on the B2T neighborhood. So go join us there. It's, it's just awesome. We're so it's awesome. But please, again, let us know through the chats what your prayer requests are. And maybe if there's a praise request, we love that as well. All right? All right, with that, I'm going to hand over to Kent. Go ahead. Love you, Kent. Man, I love these nights, bro. I love how that's over a thousand on the BTT neighborhood. That is just an awesome thing. <laughs> and we'll just say 5,000 in 60 days. I love <laughs> it. I love <laughs> let's just, it. Let's put it out there for sure, man. That would be so good, man. And it will be beyond backstage straight up because it'll I be love it. 6,000. <laughs> But tonight, I, I want to start, Rick, um, we're going to, later on the, in our stream, we'll talk about walking by faith and not by sight. In 2 Corinthians 5, uh, verse 7, I'm going to read the verses around it, but just to let Rick know where I'll be landing and stuff. But this song, um, from the tour waltz, Jesus Culture, when you walk into the room, Lord, guess what? Everything changes. We've been talking the last few streams about knowing the person and the power of the Son of God. And listen, when a storm hits, you're not going to be moved because you know who He is. When we've been doing Waymaker, we've been doing uh, This I Fight My Battles, Raise a Hallelujah, it's all about walking through life in, through, and with His presence. And that's what a lot of American churches, Rick, they got to come back to ground zero, and mm -hmm. that's knowing Him, period. Straight up. But here it is. Let's start our Friday night river flow. And when you walk into the room, Lord, everything changes. The darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring. And when you walk into the room, every heart starts burning. And nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet. Worship you. Yeah. We're going to do it again to learn that verse. When you walk into the room, Lord, everything absolutely has to start changing. When you walk into the room, everything changes. The darkness starts to tremble. They have the light that you bring into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet we worship you come on after your long week singing we worship you Lord and here's the beautiful chorus we love you stop. We can't live without you. Jesus, we love you. We can't get enough. All this is for you. Lift it up again. We love you, Lord. We 
continues verse 2 when you walk into the room every hopeless situation will cease to exist the dead begin to rise Lord because there is check it now there's resurrection life in all you do Lord Jesus hear it again because there is resurrection life Lord in all you do and when you walk into the room Sickness starts to vanish. Every hopeless situation ceases to exist. And when you walk into the, we love it, Lord. The dead begin to rise. Cause there's resurrection light in all you. starts to vanish in every hopeless situation my God will cease to exist and when you walk into the room my God the dead begin to rise cause there's resurrection life in all you do there's resurrection there's resurrection life in all you
starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here on Friday night at your We Worship You. We worship you, Lord, yeah. We worship you, Jesus. Come on, just enter into his presence tonight. Before the throne of grace, we enter in, Lord. Before the throne of grace, we enter in, Lord. Before the throne of grace, we enter in, yeah. Living in your presence, Lord. Worshiping in your presence, Lord. Here we are tonight to adore and worship you. We enter into your presence, Lord. We're living in your presence, Lord. We worship and adore you. hearts burning, hearts catching on fire. It'll be our target the first, uh, the next 10 minutes or so that we ask you, Lord, to set hearts on fire. So hear the bridge. Let's do it. Learn it. And then we'll pray out of the word. Come. Come and consume, God. All we are, we give you permission. Our hearts are yours. We, we want you.
We have a bunch of prayer requests coming in, and thank you for that. Keep those coming in, and we'll get to all of them. Um, Lord, thank you. Oh, our hearts are yours, Lord God Almighty. We praise you. We praise you because we love you so much, and it is such a privilege to be worshiping you. I look at Romans 2, 28 and 29. It says, So no one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly. No one is circumcision outward and physical. But a Jew is one inwardly. And circumcision is a matter of heart. So by the Spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, but from God. So Lord, we just want to lift you up tonight and praise you and worship you. I was singing last night. It was such a special moment for me when I just sang my, The Lord lives and blessed be my rock yes. and exalted be the God of my salvation. The Lord lives and blessed be my rock and exalted yes. be the God of my salvation. And as this I just been singing that all day since Kent started singing it. And it was like such a blessing to just know we can exalt you, Lord. May your holy fire come down here. May you heal those that need healing right now that are written. May all those things that, are, that the cabal is doing to us be eliminated from this earth. May we see a mighty fire of you on this cabal to scorch it, to expose it. And then you raise us up. You raise up miracle signs and wonders like never before. This earth has never seen what you're about ready to do, Lord, and we're looking so forward to it. We love you, Lord, and we are looking forward to this night as well of seeing a holy fire land on everyone that's in this broadcast. We love you. Now hand it off to Siobhan. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you and we bless your holy name. And we just uh, we just thank you uh, for, for your holiness, Lord God, for your righteousness. Um, for the purity that you can bring to our hearts, that you do bring to our hearts, just through the washing of the water of the word, Lord God, and, and, the, and just the blood of the lamb. We just thank you, Lord. And we just invite your holy fire to fall here and now, Lord God, and in this nation. We thank you, Lord God, that your fire refines, that it purifies, Lord God. We ask that you leave nothing but gold, Lord, it just in our hearts, um, in this nation, Lord God. Burn away all the chaff, burn away everything that is not needed, Lord. We put it all on your altar. Um, consume us, Lord. And we just say to you, the glory in all of it, Lord. We just thank you. And yes, we just say yes to these miracles, these signs, these wonders, these healings inside and out, Lord. Uh, healing of hearts, healing of minds, healing of bodies, Lord. Uh, we just say, let your fire fall. And we say to you, the glory in all of it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanking you. We thank you tonight for the release from heaven of holy fire. Holy fire. Hearts are burning. In your glory, Lord, we ask and we release and receive tonight holy fire from your heart, God. Every heart is burning. Hearts are catching on fire with your glory, Lord. Yeah, yeah. Holy fire. Hearts are catching on fire with your holy. There's fire That's where it comes from. We ask you for fire from the altar of heaven, Lord, where it's been kept all through eternity. Holy fire is available, God. Everybody pray out 
about pray and lift up America before the throne of grace tonight. start doing prayer requests there's a number of things people this is why we're here transformational prayer and presence-based worship so vicky's available get it on woman of god and pray your heart for america good morning i love you lord i thank you lord i thank you you're, you're bringing up your your holy fire our hearts are burning for you lord our hearts crave your compassion. Your word says that they will know us by our love, and love is you, Father. Manifest yourself through us. Lord, you, you said in these times when the, the, the evil, the wicked come through, you would yes. lift up the standard. You would lift yes. up the standard and and your love, yours is a standard. And I, I just went to to find that particular Bible scripture, but what popped up was something totally different. Isaiah 59, 19. From the West, people will fear the name of the Lord. And from the rising of the sun, they will revere his glory. For he will come like a pent up flood that the breath of the wow. Lord drives along. Wow. Oh my God, I thank you for this word that you've given out of the blue. And I am just astonished and in awe of you. I pray wow. for the wow. release of your spirit of love and compassion that will push aside every evil thought and intent and protect your people as you put them into place. In Jesus' name, we pray this, we ask this, we receive it. In Jesus' name, under the blood covenant in your kingdom's reign. Amen. And I had that on my heart, Rick. We're gonna, I bought two songs about the love of God. He's not that judgmental after all. He's welcome home first for all the people that just came on the last. This is your home. Friday night, Holy Spirit, River Flow, Praise and Prayer Nights. We got a number of prayer requests we'll get to. I'll have Rick direct that. But tonight, your love has ravished our hearts, God. We're not a judgmental bunch of goofy church people. We love the lost. We love the sick. We love the, the broken. Because if we don't, nobody will. So it goes like this. Your love has ravished my heart and taken me over and taken me over. Ravished, your love has ravished my 
with a two by four. It's the goodness and the tender mercies of God that leads a man, a woman, a millennial, a child, a teenager to repentance. It's the goodness of God. It's the tender mercies. Here we go, yeah. We start into that prayer segment now. I want Rick just to, I'm going to hand off to him and let's start praying. Everybody has those prayer requests. Woo! <laughs> all right, there we go. We're all unmuted here. And I tell you what, we've got like eight requests, so I'm going to just uh, do a couple of them, and then I'll hand off to Jason, and then Rose, and then uh, and then to Gus. So here, I'm going to do the first two. Awesome. You'll see them on the, the chat here. Eileen Coger says, my husband is, has pain in his hip, so let's lift this up. Hey, Father, we just pray for her husband, not only for this hip and this pain to go away, but we pray that you just touch every part of his body. You know the root cause of anything that's going on there, Lord. Just remove anything that is wrong with his body whatsoever. Just heal him and make him whole. Bring health to him and Eileen as well. Maria Padilla um, says, please pray for my brother Anthony. Please, God, touch him with your supernatural divine healing power and cover him with your precious blood and send your mighty angel to protect him and cover him including his family in the mighty name of jesus what a beautiful prayer right there maria you also have um, some other ones as well but i'm going to hand that off to uh, jason go ahead yes lord we come to you in the name of jesus i, I lift up uh someone's son uh, with uh, the trouble when he rides a tow truck father god uh lord god i pray that uh uh, I pray for super uh, natural adherence to the to the ground and no slides and slips for on his vehicle, Lord God. I pray that uh, you navigate him to where he has to go. The people that are in trouble, Lord God, I, Lord God, if he's a, a born again believer, that he'll be able to give a word to somebody and comfort to them, Lord God. Father God, we also ask you just uh, encamp your angels around about him, Lord God, that angel Lord encamp around that to fear him and deliver them, Lord God. Father God, I ask you to just uh, uh, somehow. Uh, Touch people's hearts that to, to receive to receive that that God is you know moving in their lives, Lord God, with Him, Lord God. And Father God, we ask you just uh, uh, once again take away the fear in His heart. Don't him have trembling heart and scared. Whatever you, you might think you might have a slip, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that 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 Lord that you'll have your perfect will on tonight, and that uh, He'll help be a testimony, Lord God, and He'll uh, uh, you know in, in Your name, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. And then Ro Ruth, Ruth, Angela, would you mind praying for a couple more? Sure. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. You are the God who heals. We thank you, Father, for your healing hand, and we command the virtue of heaven come down and heal your children. Touch your people, Lord. Even touch those who don't know that they are your children yet. <laughs> we command healing from grief, from sickness, from pain in the body. The Lord rebuke you pain, you must go. We rebuke the spirit and the fear and the demon COVID. Be rebuked, be cast off of the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't accept it anymore. We don't accept respiratory illnesses. We plead the blood of Jesus over each one. We call for the healing virtue of Jesus. They brought the sick to the feet of Jesus and every single one of them were healed. Every single one was healed. We call for healing over um, bones, um, people feeling uh, pain in their joints in Jesus' name. Yes. I feel like the Lord is saying, do not accept curses like winter blues. You've heard that. Don't accept the curse of winter blues because it's winter. We don't have to accept a dark winter. We can have a winter like spring. 
We don't accept pain when it gets cold. People say, I have pain when it gets cold. I don't accept that curse in Jesus' name. We don't accept pain when I get old. <laughs> don't accept the curse of being old and having pain. So we rebuke, we command those curses to be returned to sender in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your healing touch in Jesus' mighty name. Now we're going to lift up uh, Stefan Spano and say, we, we, we pray for your healing of your lungs, your chronic asthmic, um, what is that, COPD, your lung damage, congestion, difficulty, and the right knee pain. Lord, we pray for especially these lungs right now, Lord, that the COPD, you touch that, Lord. You remove that in the mighty name of Jesus. You can make things brand new, Lord. We ask for these lungs to become brand new. And this right knee pain to be completely eliminated. Lord, give him the abundant life. We're also keeping the faith, asking about praying for her son, who's a tow truck driver, sent out of town tonight to pick up a truck somewhere. And here in Montana, I think MT, it's starting to freezing and raining. So we pray for safety of this son. Um, and he's on top. And, and, and also, he's uh, I guess his name's Mark. We lift Mark up right now. Um, he turns 30 in May. Where you just have... Uh, just a blessing of seeing your son grow up to be a mighty man of God way bigger for a believer than he is right now that he just uses that and his his gift of faith shows to all his friends and family and he just grows up to be a more a better than you could even imagine uh, uh, keeping the faith with that uh, Gus would you mind talking to Yolanda here a little bit praise bringing her up I was looking at uh, Facebook over here I'm looking for you and, uh, I don't see it in the chat there, Rick. Yeah, um, that's on the back here backstage. But can I go through the Facebook? We'll hand that other off to someone else. I see a Maria Padilla praying for removal of wickedness in our government, in America, in the whole world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, can we all come in agreement with that? Father God, we acknowledge that we can do nothing without you. It's, it's by your stripes we're healed and and you can provide us above and beyond all that we can ask or think, Lord, so long as we're in your will and your word is your will. So I just want to call these out to you. I want to call out uh, Margo Giddens, Maine, uh, prayer to keep jobs and rental house. Quick, Margo's legs amputated and no disability. And Grandma, low social security and health problems. Lord, we pray, Father God, that you we cry out. We call these needs out before you, Lord. We're just being obedient to you so that we can watch you go to work and glorify yourself through us and in us as we speak these things boldly before you, Lord, before all men, Lord, that they see you go to work. We thank you, Jesus. We pray Thanks. for uh, Maria Padilla also for praying for financial blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Gus. Thank you, Gus. Yeah, go ahead, Gus. Uh, we want to pray. Yolanda Williams has a very important one here. It says we need to pray for our President Trump. We need to pray for his protection for him and his family. That's awesome. And then we have Yolanda also asking for the entire world, for those that don't know God, get to know him. Lord, may just, just may the true, uh, what you call us to in Matthew 28, to actually go make disciples of the nations. May we do that, baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that you have commanded us to, Lord. And you are with us in that, that great commission. Thank you, Lord. And thank you, Andra. Also, let's pray for the protection of all the truth tellers that are out there. Yeah. Yeah, may the more of the truth tellers be protected, Lord. And may they may, may they be bold and, and decisive and give them great discernment in this hour. No junk intel, Lord, that they're actually telling truth to the people. And that may people think for themselves and be able to do those type of things. And then we have Patricia Morris. I don't know, uh, Siobhan, if you would mind picking up. Do you, do you see Patricia Moore at the end there? Uh, maybe. Yeah. A, so, Lord God, we just um, we just thank you. We looked at Patricia, Lord God, and uh, we just pray for her father, Victor Morris, Lord God, um, mm -hmm. who's in the hospital. And everyone else who's in the hospital, I also saw that um, that husband, Alan, are in the ho is in the hospital as well, Lord. And we just speak over these men. And we just uh, we just plead the blood of them, plead the blood of Jesus over them, and we just speak life over them and to them. And we tell, we say to them, you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. The number of your days you will fulfill. 
the number of your days you will fulfill. The number of your days you will fulfill. And we just command their bodies to be whole, to be made whole by, by the, by the, by the uh, bread of life, the broken body of Jesus. We say, be made whole in Jesus' name. And we just take authority over everything that is in their body causing any kind of chaos and sickness, and we cast you out in the name of Jesus. Be gone. Melt like wax melts before the fire. You are out. You are done. Do not come back. And we command just every cell in their body, every fiber of their being to just be fully whole in the Lord and fully healed. And we speak that over everyone else requesting um, healing here today, Lord God. We just say that they are healed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord God, but by by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, Lord God, it is done. We believe, Lord God. And we also thank you um, for Viola's request, Lord God. Um, she, you understand that frustration, Lord God, and seeing the evil in the world. So we just put you in remembrance of what you have said. You said, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves, Lord God, if we if we turn from our wicked ways, Lord God, if, and we seek your face, Lord God, if we have done that. We put you in remembrance of your words. Um, and you let us know in, in Psalm 7 and, and Luke 18, Lord God, that you are a righteous judge. So we, we just we put a pull on that and we say avenge us speedily of our adversaries, Lord. Remember your word to us and you watch over your word to perform it. To you be the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want to speak with love. Shabbat's prayer, Rick. I am commanding the oxygen level. I've done this for a lot of people the last few months. The oxygen level for its victor, right, is going up. It was a specific part of the prayer. And I am decreeing and declaring his oxygen level is going up. Whatever it was low, God, 85, 84, it's going back up to 95 to 95, 97%. We're saying it right now. We agree on this stream right now for Victor in Hawaii mm -hmm. that his blood oxygen level is going back up. We yes. won't have it any other way. You gave us permission, Lord, and authority. Mm -hmm. I'm just dovetailing off Siobhan's prayer, Lord. She covered the front end, but I cover the back end of this right now. In Jesus' name, Victor's blood oxygen level is returning to normal, and everybody say amen on this stream. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And now I go right for, it was Tommy and Tammy who said, pray for my prodigal, uh, Catherine. Uh, let me see. It's over on our side here, Matt, if you could help me. Oh, here it is. It's right there. Yeah. Is it? Oh, uh, Tom and Tammy Brown. Father, I'm going to do it this way. Prodigals are coming home. Prodigals are coming home. Come home, Catherine, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray with me with prodigals right now. There's hundreds, if not thousands, prodigals are coming home, Lord. We pray and sing. Prodigals are coming home. The prodigal sons and daughters are coming home. Well, the prodigals keep praying. Come on, pray with me as I'm singing my prayer. I'm just singing my prayer tonight. I said, prodigals are coming home, Lord. Everybody get in behind that. Prodigals are coming home. We call you prodigals. Come home. We call you prodigals. Catherine is leading the band of the. You gotta come home, Catherine. The Lord's touching your heart right now. We we release the power of the Holy Spirit. You're tenderizing Catherine's heart tonight. For Tom and Tammy, this is personal, God. And you guys keep praying with me. Any other prodigals, call them by name. Any that you know that are away from, maybe you have an adult child away from the Lord. Prodigals are coming home. They're going to see they're not alone after all. Prodigals are coming home. We call out Catherine's name. This is our time of need for Catherine, Lord. And we're before the throne of grace. It says, why don't you come before my throne of grace in your time of need? Hebrews said it, and we're doing it tonight, Lord. We're coming before you with Tom and Tammy, and we're holding up Catherine before the throne of grace. This is our time of need. We know where our help comes from. This is our time of need, and our help comes from the Lord here in our time of need we know where our help comes from Lord our help comes from you Lord call come on just a little bit longer we call 
brought all those prodigal children home. They know who you are, Jesus. We're calling Catherine back into your arms. You're bringing the prodigals home, Lord. We call out many names before you. You said you would change their lives. And you tenderize their hearts. Some are mad, Lord. Some are angry. Some are ticked off. Some feel betrayed. But we ask you to do what you do, Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. And they're going to come to B2D neighborhood. Many of them will come on over and be taught of the Lord and be trained. I'm so glad Tom and Tammy put that up and they were honest. That had That's what we do in the prayer room, Rick. We sing it as people are interceding and praying. And it's a double fusion of his presence, worship, and prayer. Think of that right there. So whatever you got next to me, Rick. Yeah, we could go all, quite a ways on all these uh, prayer requests. We're going to try to get to them all. But uh, Angela Larson said, hey, no more chemtrails, Lord. We just pray that those are healthy if there are anything up there. Right, Lord? Uh, you just, uh, we rebuke metals um, in all forms that are coming in our food, that are coming through our water, coming through our cleaning devices, coming through the air. Lord, we rebuke all the cabals trying to do to destroy our bodies. We look for you renewing our bodies completely, Lord. Marine talks about my brother received a miracle five ways in Mayo yeah. in a coma on a vent with a CV weapon. Doctors calling him a miracle. <clears throat> He's in rehab and goes home in yes. one week. So a praise. Our word from the God has been Hadash. It's Hebrew for make better than before. So he may come home from the hospital better than before. Christian Aguilar is asking for a pray for my Nulu diabetic cat. <laughs> Please, and whatever else is attacking him, please. We pray for this cat, Lord, and for all the pets of those listening to this broadcast right now, that those those things that are going wrong with them that uh, this evil world is creating, just eliminate that. Give our pets great health so we can just adore them and love them. Viola is asking for the salvation of her eight children and 19 grandchildren, Lord, we pray. What a blessing. We pray Viola has many decades left of enjoying these great grandchildren and seeing more great grandchildren come lord and may they just be awesome women and men of the lord as they grow up lord bring them to you use them in a mighty way for your kingdom we love you so much lord i'm gonna hand it back to kent wow let's just take a deep breath take a deep breath in the lord i'm going to this is a classic Daryl Evans, my friend, wrote this song, Your Love is Extravagant. The Lord said, just kind of concentrate on His love. We'll get to walking by faith here in a minute. We're, we're in good shape time-wise. But when I heard this song, it just overwhelmed my heart. And it's a 20 years old, then, at least. It's more than that. She said, Your love It's extravagant. Yeah. 
Capture my 
want you just to begin to worship the Lord. Every hand up and worship Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love that you love us, Lord. You capture our hearts and over. I was, I was sorry, that was, uh, I was uh, muted on Facebook and stuff. <laughs> but I'm talking about faith during this great shaking. I believe the Lord plans on shaking this world until the sleeping wake up and he shakes off everything worldly we're holding unto. If you look at Hebrews 12, 26 through 29, it says, At that time, his voice shook the earth. But now he has promised, yet once I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens. This phrase, yet once more, indicates a removal of things that are shaken, that is, things that have been made, in order that the things that cannot be shaken may remain. Therefore, let us be grateful for receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, and thus let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. And so there's an excerpt from Julie Green that she uh, I was on our show a couple of days ago. And uh, there's a little paragraph that she had in, it, in her January 2nd message she received from the Lord. And it said, The angel of death is not allowed to cross your doors. No, the assignment is to go after the ones who have sown death upon this earth and on my children. As you've seen, judgment has started. But in the coming weeks, the number of deaths will grow to such a number, they will not be able to hide these facts from you any longer. They're hiding the numbers now and the cause of death, but I, the Lord, will expose these deaths were caused by the mandates and forcing the mandates into your bodies. There's another excerpt from Kolya. I shorten this up from my teaching. There's a much deeper, longer teaching on the neighborhood now <clears throat> in the small groups. Go to bdutyneighborhood.com. But this is uh, what she reserved, received on November 6th. <coughs> and the Lord told her, It is my will to shake your world so hard that all the false foundations will shatter, so that the, all the idols will crumble before your eyes. When the idols are removed, and when there is no hope to be found except in me, then your world will be in a position to hear and to see the truth. The realization of which has been false and evil in life will finally break through. Be aware of this. When all that is false and wicked is exposed and torn apart, so also shall human hearts be rent asunder, even shattered in the revelation of horrors. Are you prepared for that? Many of you who, will, who walk with me have assumed that the shaking would not impact you as it has. Yes, there's a Goshen scenario that will come to play in the days to come. So the first one was talking about an Exodus type thing happening in our day here. This is talking about the same thing because Goshen was the area that was in safety during the Exodus during all the plagues. 
for the Jewish people were. That's going to come to play again according to this word she got. But for right now, I need for you to be shaken along with the rest of your world. You must grow and increase in your character so that you can truly represent me to the perishing and the panicked. What was sufficient in the days of prosperity and peace are inadequate in the turbulent days of wanton war. Fear still has to get great grip on many of you. Your faith, intimacy, and trust in me must increase. As the shaking takes place, there will be areas of your life that will be shaken into kingdom alignment. At the same time, the things that have become attached to your mind, emotions, and habits, the things that have been carnal treasure or seduction to the world, all these things need to be shaken away from your life. They will be burned up in the fires of refinement. Wow. The last, this, this ends in this paragraph that's very powerful. It says, seek my face. Worship me in spirit and truth. Do the work of repentance. Confess the sins of your families and nations. Free my hand to do whatever I deem best to bring about the breakthrough. Trust my timing and do not delay in accomplishing your task. You do not know when the shaking will intensify nor when it will suddenly end. Stay focused upon me and committed to the kingdom as your priority. Let my kingdom arise within you, pushing back and pushing out all that is shakable. Then simply stand in the storm and obey the call moment by call moment. Trust my love to allow this storm to shake and blow just as long as necessary. Do not grow weary, nor doubt my love or my presence with you. Stay close to my heart and join your hearts together. Strip off the old garments. Be prepared to receive the new garments of glory that I have waiting for you. They are most beautiful and they will fit you perfectly. Look up. Your redemption is drawing near. Even now, it is here. So that's a word, a rhema word from Kolya. I'm going to have a link down here. You'll get these in your show notes if you want to come to uh, Joe into show notes at blessedteach.com. You'll get them Tuesday morning. Um, I just want to pray right now, Lord, for everyone that's listening to my voice now, that they will prepare for this shaking by getting rid of anything worldly they have in their lives and focus on the things that cannot be shaken, which is your kingdom. May people get closer to God right now. May they continue to worship like they are right now with us. May they continue to be in Bible study and meditate on the Word of God. May they, Lord, just come closer to you during this time period. Lord, may we all come closer to you as we see your victory play out in 2022. We love you, Lord, and we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And Rick, I'm going to dovetail right in, and then we'll go to Ruth. Oh, you watch and see. It was tag team preaching by Rick <laughs> and, Kent and Ruth Angela. <laughs> but but here's, here's a scripture. It's real simple. I don't have to go long. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. Is, is the main scripture. Now I'm going to give you the New King James and the Passion Translation. Then I'm going to read verses 4, four through 9 around it. So Paul, in the second letter to the Corinthians, he said this, I, I want you to walk by faith and not by sight. Excuse me, it was the Amplified Bible who said this, right? For we walk by faith, not by natural eyesight, that is, we're living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. That is very um, enlightening. I mean, it, it helps us understand faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word. Because some, some people, quite a few people have struggled with this. I mean, how not to, what, do I not plan in the natural? It doesn't mean that. But you're going to have to walk in the supernatural realm with faith when stuff seems to be totally against you and God will give you a breakthrough. So here again, the Amplified Bible, for we walk by faith and not by natural eyesight. That is, we're living our lives in a manner that is consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. How many out there, you believe he's got multiple hundreds of promises in the word and you've stood on some of them and some of them are still coming to you, they're new but it's a confident belief. 
that God is who he is and he will fulfill his own covenant promises. So listen, Carl and I have, we're married 46 years. We've been doing it a long time and I'm, I'm sure people years ago in our 20s, well, we talked about our parents who were not saved at that point in time. Well, Carla's mom was saved in spirit filled. They must have thought we were nuts when we were younger because we were tithing to our home church. We were giving to missions. We were, I mean, we barely had any money, but it was all going out. And, and I'm saying we, we had a conversation. My mom and dad, my dad was a senior buyer negotiator at McDonnell Douglas. He procured the parts for the Tomahawk and the cruise missiles. He was a smart guy. I mean, his brain was unbelievable even until he passed but he he thought you should because he's a country boy he was poor growing up that you got to have a super big bank account super big savings account he got on wall street and and then when he was 75 and he had quadruple bypass surgery he said oh my god i get it i can't take it with me he had a facing mortality moment. I want you to think about that. Every man or woman sooner or later will face their mortality. And look at us. We have no fear of crossing over because we know what's on the other side. We're born again and spirit filled. And dude, I know people that right now, the reason they're fear based, they don't know the Lord. They've never known him and they don't know what's going to happen to them. That's why it's our job to get the message. The good news of great joy is come to Christ and have ultimate peace in your life. Um, you know, somebody back a year and a half ago when we got through COVID, they said, well, bro, you, you're on the borderline there. You're, you're in the, uh, um, what was the group, hun? You're, you're in the, uh, because you're older, you're over 50 or 60. You're in the, what was the what? No, no. They said, you're in the danger zone. I said, hey, look at me right now, bro. My days are written in a book, and I'm not going out one second early or late. So that's why believers, we don't have any fear. So let me read into this, the Apostle Paul in context now. Verse 7, 2 Chronicles 5, starting at 4. And I'm going to stop playing this for a minute. For we who are in this tent, this earthly tent, were groaning being burdened not because we want to be unclothed but further clothed that mortality may be swallowed up by resurrection life oh say it again ken okay that our mortality one day will be swallowed up by jesus's resurrection life we're already living eternally we have eternity but isn't that awesome of paul to put that in there then verse 5, and by the way, he said to the Corinthians, the power of people and people walking in, in miracles and revelation, this is no empty hope, by the way, for God himself is the one who has prepared us for this wonderful destiny of eternal life and resurrection life. And to confirm this promise, well, what did the Lord do then? What, what did he? Well, he has given us his own Holy Spirit like an engagement ring. This is the passion. And listen to this. He gave us the Holy Spirit like a down payment or a pledge on our full inheritance. Oh, thank you very much for sharing. I appreciate Brian Simmons through the power of the Holy Spirit that's been doing this new translation called the Passion. Hear it again. See, God confirmed his promise. He didn't just say it and then not back it up. He has given us the guarantee, and this is the guarantee. It's his Holy Spirit. It's like the engagement ring. I am my beloved's and he is mine. The bride and the bridegroom, we are the bride of Christ. And Jesus is the bridegroom coming back for us. Well, he gave us the Holy Spirit. And every woman, when she gets engaged, oh my Lord, she fawns over her ring. She goes, that's so nice. Thank you so much. I mean, it's a very special time when a woman gets her engagement ring. And in the same way for us, and it goes on further in the Passion. I'm still in verse 5. It says, it's a guarantee or the down payment. You ain't buying no house or no car unless you're paying cash for it without a down payment. The Lord said, I put a down payment on you, and I gave you my Holy Spirit as a pledge. So this is why, verse 6 now, we're always full of courage. Well, yes, Paul, we're going to say yes to that. That's why we're always full of courage, even while we're at home in this body, we are homesick to be with our master, the Lord Jesus. So we're always confident knowing that while we're at home in the body and we're not present with the Lord, we're absent. Here's the scripture now with verses four, five, six, four, four, five, and six, we come to verse seven. So as a result of the guarantee, the Holy Spirit of promise and the engagement ring, 
And because we're still here in the body, not present with the Lord, we're going to walk by faith and not by natural eyesight. Think of it in context. Now, it's pretty good, ain't Gus, right there, bro? <laughs> I'm seeing you, Mr. Alabama boy. No, it's really powerful here. Then he finishes, or let me say the Amplified one more time. So we walk by faith and not by natural eyesight. That is, we're living our lives out daily in a manner consistent with our confident, confident belief, our faith in God's promises. Then he closes with verse 8. We live with the joyful confidence, yet at the same time we take delight in the thought of one day we're leaving these bodies behind. Oh, my God, to be at home with the Lord. Let me say it again. <laughs> it feels so good. It? See, he said, Paul said, you know, I, when, he, when he finished his course, he said, I, I'm, I'm going now. I finished my course. But it's so clear when he said, so at the same time, we're taking delight in the thought of one day I'm not going to be in this physical body, but I'm going to be at home with the Lord. So whether we live or die, we make it out our life's passion to live our lives pleasing to him. I better stop right there. You can't. It's so heavyweight. But this is the year or the two-year run of walking by faith a confident faith in his promises he will show up even if it seems late to us <laughs> we've all been through those where lord i'm down here right now do you see me lord i'm right here i'm, I'm over here lord <laughs> and he goes yeah i can i know I'll, I'll be there i'll be done. i'm with you right now whether you knew it or not but i will be there now ruth can you want to jump on dovetail right into that with your your sharing Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> you never go. guess what I'm going to speak on. <laughs> but, <laughs> but are you sure, Lord? And he said, yes. So um, I'm going to go quick. It's prophetic blessings, declarations, and a warning for 2022. And awesome. my first scripture is Hebrews 11, 1, out of the passion. <laughs> now faith wow. brings our hopes into reality and becomes the foundation needed to acquire the things that we long for. Wow. It is all the evidence required to prove what is still unseen. This testimony of faith is what previous generations were commended for. Faith empowers us to see that the universe was created and beautifully coordinated by the power of God's words. He spoke and the invisible realm gave birth to all that is seen. And what is the answer of faith for us? Psalm 11, 3 to 7. This is my, my text out of Psalm 11, verse 3 through 7. My faith shelters my soul continually in Yahweh. The Lord is Yahweh. What can the righteous accomplish when truth's pillars are destroyed and law and order collapse? The answer of faith is this. I'm talking about blessings and declarations, okay? The blessing, yet Yahweh is never shaken. He is still found in his temple of holiness, reigning as King Yahweh over all. He closely watches. He closely watches and examines everything man does yes. with a glance. His eyes examine every heart, from his heavenly rule will prevail over all. Okay? Yahweh, the Lord, tests both the righteous and the wicked. God's very soul detests the lovers of violence. The declaration is this. Verse 6, he will rain down upon them the lovers of violence. Judgment is going to rain down from Yahweh, the Lord, upon the lovers of violence for their sins. A scorching wind will be their lot in life. The blessing is this, verse 7. But remember this, Yahweh is the righteous one. The Lord is the righteous one who loves justice. And every godly one will gaze upon his face. From verse 3, did you know that your faith speaks, both verbally and non-verbally? There are spoken declarations, blessings, and there's curses. There's also actions and inactions, okay? The intentions of the heart are seen through what you say and what you do and what you don't do. You're acting by faith, okay? 
Um, and we're all seeking justice in our nation. And the Lord showed me that there's an angel of justice that's here. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And he wanted me to talk about, uh, to be very careful with our words. That is the warning, to be careful with your words. Proverbs 26, verse 2, in the Passion. An undeserved curse will be powerless to harm you. It may flutter over you like a bird, but it will find no place to land. And I'm taking that as a promise, and I'm declaring that over myself and my family. I will not be cursed with respiratory issues. Amen? I will not be cursed with poverty. <laughs> okay? I'm not going to curse my children with poverty because it's popular. When justice is served, the lovers of God celebrate and rejoice, but the wicked begin to panic, says Proverbs 21, 14. And we're seeing that now. Amen? Watch your words in this season. Speak only what God speaks over yourself, which means you have to know Him. Intimacy, knowing His Word. Declare God's goodness over the land. This is the key to what He wants to say. I feel like you, we, myself and a lot of us, we slip into cursing without even knowing it. Speak the promises of God over the land where you live. For example, if you live in San Francisco and you say it's Sodom and Gomorrah here, or these people always blah, 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 or these people always vote this way, <laughs> or, you know, I'm in California, it's going to break off. It's, you know, into the ocean. <laughs> I don't accept, I tell people, I started tell. I said, I don't accept that because I live here and I don't swim very well. I don't accept that curse. Instead, we declare the true identity of the land and prophesy into the darkness what God sees, what God's original design is for the land. For example, San Francisco will be a place where the next Jesus movement will spark come into the darkness with the opposite spirit the spirit of the breath of god can these dry bones live do you believe it <laughs> ezekiel 37 <laughs> and my son is named ezekiel and there's a bob jones prophecy okay and he's talking about declaring goodness over the nation prophesy out of faith and from god's heart what you want to see declare this blessing and i'm sure you've heard this before God bless America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with light from above. Amen? Revelation light. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with foam, God bless America, my home, sweet home. And keep planting seeds of the word of God with your mouth. Keep speaking life and light, light, life and light. Keep being the physical body of Christ to those around you, helping hands. Do not grow weary in doing well in his mighty holy kingdom. Galatians says, the harvest you reap, Galatians, uh, I believe it's 6, 9, 6, 8 through 10. The harvest you reap reveals the seed that you planted. <laughs> if you plant the corrupt seeds of life into this natural realm, you can expect a harvest of corruption. If you plant the good seeds of the spirit life, you will reap beautiful fruits that grow from the everlasting life of the spirit. Do not allow yourselves to be weary. I know a lot of us are feeling weary, but the Lord is wanting to infuse you with energy, faith, hope, love divine hope in jesus name for the season of reaping the wonderful harvest you've planted is coming in verse 10 take advantage of every opportunity to be a blessing to others especially to our brothers and sisters in the family of faith hallelujah amen let it be lord jesus in your mighty name and father as i close <laughs> We don't accept curses over our land. Return to sender. Our land is blessed. Our families are blessed. Our children are blessed. It's not even fair how blessed we are, but that's how it's going to be. Amen. We decree it. Our children <laughs> decree it. 
Our children are gonna be olive branches around our tables and we will live in abundance. And we're gonna share. <laughs> our DNA is blessed, amen. Your holy name, Yahweh, the Lord, is written on my DNA, our DNA. And we declare it is pure, it is holy and set apart to glorify you. Wow. And we wow. call forth DNA repair. Anyone that has uh, issues with their DNA right now, Father, repair it. We declare DNA repair. Yeah. And just can stamp your name on our DNA again, Lord God. Yeah. And let the glory of God, the anointing spread in Jesus' name. I just, I know this is a silly vision, but I saw the glory of God just sort of like a cloud just sort of crawling. <laughs> And we command the kavod, the glory of God, to go into hospital rooms and touch people. Shorten yes. hospital stays. I want to see people springing up off the hospital beds with energy. And they're hungry. Make, <laughs> you know, people get hungry, they're, they're healed. <laughs> yes. I told my husband, if I'm, if I'm not eating, something's wrong, right? <laughs> so in Jesus' name, we command healing over those who are ill or feeling ill and we command those symptoms to go away in the mighty name of jesus we declare the breath of heaven breathe into lungs right now the kiss of god <laughs> just breathe just uh like god is giving you cpr right now in jesus name thank you lord amen <laughs> yeah. well rick how do you follow that right there buddy it's all you <laughs> But I gotta say beautiful. 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 Go ahead, Kent. America. America. God shed his grace on me and crown thy head with brotherhood from sea. every one of us are going to get a flag like Vicky. A lady in Japan is showing all of us up with their little, and we're going to get a flag of Israel and keep it close. We got to get to look at Vicky. Rick, she outran us straight up. The woman in Japan, the woman of God, Japan came out. They show us that. Oh, there, there she's got both of them. All right, everybody in the next few days is going to get online and get the flag of America, little, little guys like that, and a flag of Israel, and then we're going to blow the daylights out of our shofars, right, guys? Everybody's got their little, their little ram's horn or something. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. And Rick, the reason that I know America and these patriotic songs is when my mom and dad 
were in a nursing home in O'Fallon, Missouri. They were at Shabbat, check it out. They were, it was the, 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 uh, the retirement home of Sisters of the Precious Blood, a Catholic, uh, you know, retirement center. And I went to them, I, I went a couple times, and what I did is I, I took my, my dad's guitar and my keyboard, and we would play the patriotic songs, and 30 wheelchairs would be wheeled in, bro, and they would weep, some of them had stroke victims. That I said, I gotta learn, the, I, I know them, but you, to play them, you gotta know the lyrics straight up, and we need to bring a few of those occasionally yeah. and, and do that. Uh, but no, I, I'm really super blessed, and I'll never forget the sisters, because I was raised Catholic, and a Catholic grade school. Also, I went to them the, the third time and said, listen, you sisters, I love you so much. Thanks for interceding. The sisters of the precious blood, and I want to join up because I'm all about the precious blood. And they said, Kent, you're a man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't join. <laughs> I said, I know, I know that, but I had to say that, Tishi, we appreciate your heart that you love the precious blood. Mm. And they said, but you can't join up. I said, mm. all right. But I'm, they said, but still come and sing. All right. Mm -hmm. Still come in once a month for four months straight. Bro, I, I mean, and Ariel, my youngest daughter, went. And bro, sometimes I would just break down because here are these people, end of life scenarios that were singing, they were singing on tune, off tune. It was so beautiful because we sang gospel songs and country songs, my mom and dad knew. When I got on the patriotic songs, they just went out. It was just so powerful. How do you want to close this tonight, Rick? I don't know. <laughs> Well, I, I want to make sure that we get this praise report in from Suzette from Hawaii. She says, I have a yes. praise report. Yesterday I was at YouTube and asked for prayer for my husband who is in COVID and is in ICU. He's still there, but doing much better today. So thanking God. Uh, so we just uh, want to always bring up the praises as well. Um, we've had several today and uh, we had tons of prayer requests. If we missed you, we're sorry. Make sure you uh, resend those uh, here right now so that we can uh, do that offline. And uh, we just want to say again, welcome home to the where you can be every Friday night at the Friday Night Praise and Prayer. Yes. Experience this Holy Spirit River. I hope you saw that tonight where the presence of Lord comes while we worship. I want to end with one verse here. It's Exodus, uh, I guess two verses. It's, it's Exodus 23, 25, and 26. So we're talking about Exodus. We're talking about this shaking that's going to happen. And God's going to protect us. And we need to make sure we're really close to him. And it says, Worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you, and none will miscarry or be barren in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. So if you want a full lifespan, if you want sickness not to be in our land, if we want blessings on our food and water, despite what this cabal yes. did, what do we do? It says, worship the Lord. Some versions say, serve the Lord. Worship and serve the Lord in this time. There's going to be a great shaking. It's time to get close to the Lord, closer than you ever have been. We need to grow, mature, get closer. We can do that. It's a matter of just worshiping him and serving him. It's going to be a wonderful 2022, and we look so forward to being here every Friday night with you. If you want to join us on Mondays and Thursdays, we do the same thing backstage. Just go to blessedteach.com. That's blessed with a number two, teach.com. Hit the backstage button, and then you can be here back with all the cameras and be able to see Patriots Tuesday and Wednesdays, as well as Mondays and Thursdays, worship with us backstage. We hey, love Rick, you guys. Rick, you, you, wait a minute. You so <laughs> right into my song okay I Matt and Tar Carly put the words up and I just thought we wouldn't get to it it's to worship you I live to worship you I, I live, live I live to worship, worship you come on somebody help me out yeah yeah to worship you I live might not be easy exodus to worship you I live I'm living to worship you
just want to bless your name. I just want to make you glad. And I just want to bless your name. I just want to make you glad. And I just want to move your heart, God. And give you all I we had uh, cried out uh, Marie Higgins brother was five weeks in a coma and he was brought out as a praise report on Facebook mm -hmm. we need hey. to praise God for that hey, <laughs> praise God Absolutely. and I want to cry a shout out for Joyful Noise and Steve and the prayers she had earlier too and lift her up and anybody else we might have missed I feel bad if we miss anybody because just know that God's here with us and we're human and we're trying to capture everyone, but he sees them all. We're here just lifting up his name so he answers each and every one of them. And so on that, I'm going to pray for the lady that threw her back out. Her husband's on here right now. Come on, Siobhan, with me. In Jesus' name, we say healing. A woman was, was shoveling snow. <laughs> Maybe her husband is at work, but Father, we are releasing divine virtue and healing power on her. He didn't put her name in there, but we pray. Her husband requested prayer, and we're praying right now. The last one I saw we didn't cover is a lady who threw her back out shoveling snow healed in the name of Jesus healed in the name of Jesus and bring a blessing to her and in Jesus name bro you better make her hot chocolate and help her out in Jesus name we pray for this fine lady maybe I don't know Minnesota Wisconsin I hope not but she's shoveling so back healed and she's back up on her feet in Jesus name and everybody said Amen. 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 So I, I also see Mar Margo Giddens Maine say, Deliver our family from poverty in Jesus' name and heal us. Yes, heal this landlord. Bring this uh, cabal down, this, uh, this IRS and uh, this banking system that's making us po all poor. Lord, uh, bring the glory, bring, bring, the, bring the prosperity. Lord, we see this Exodus moment, this Red Sea moment, creating an amazing world with an abundant life. Lord, we pray for abundant life, specifically for Margo and everyone that's listening to my voice right now. We love you, Lord. 
We love you so much. <laughs> and we praise you. And we say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, with that, guys, please join us every Friday night. Go ahead, Kent. No, bro, there's not one other thing we could stack into this night. <laughs> I thought the Holy Spirit did a good job. We thank you, Holy Spirit, <laughs> for helping us out on Friday nights. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Make sure you join us Monday and Thursday if you can backstage. Uh, make sure you put on your calendar 7 p.m. Friday night praise and prayer. Experience the Holy Spirit River. God bless you guys. And with that, if you all, everybody backstage went mind unmuting and saying goodbye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> good night, all. Good, I, I don't want to say good, I don't want to say good night. It's mm-hmm. too early. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you. Oh my, come on. God bless you all. God bless you guys. I love Ruth and Vicky. All right. All right. We're closing it down. Here we go. with America. God bless. America. Amen. (laughs) Crazy backstage people. Come and join us backstage. It's fun. God bless. We're closing.